Hi, this is Rick and welcome to the ninth Microsoft Word 2007 tutorial. Today's topic is going to be headers and footers. What I've done here is I've created a document with a uh, title page and then I've got six um, or a total of seven pages and uh, six of those pages just have random text on them. The other thing that I've done is I've broken up the text into separate sections. So if you're making a document with say different chapters, this would be a good example. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a different header or footer um, per section. So the first thing you can do here is let's let's go in and create a basic uh, header here. So we can go into insert header, and then we can choose something predefined, like just blank text, or you could do a document title throughout the document. Um, so let's just go ahead and do a uh, type text here, okay? And I'm going to call this headers and footers. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry about that. Let me edit this again. Header. Let me go back to this one. Okay. Headers and footers. Okay. So now to get out of this um, uh, headers and footers view, you can do it two ways. You can either close header and footer button here, or you can double click within the body of the document. So now you'll notice on every page we have a title called headers and footers, or not a title but a header. Okay, so that could be anything. You could format it any way you want. You could put a graphic up there or, or whatever. So the first thing that I want to show you is that I broke this document up into up into sections. So this might be a realistic example where you'd have chapters or sections of a document. So what you'd want to do is go back into the headers and footers view and again, you can do that by either insert header or you can just double click up here. Okay, you'll notice up here, you notice this says section one, this says section two. So I did break the document up into sections. And then the other thing you'll notice is over here it says same as previous. So over here where it says same as previous, that means it's going to take the header from the previous section. So in order to break that link and make this one a new header, you have to go here and there's a button called link to previous. I'm going to expand this for a minute so you can see it. That's what it looks like right there, but now I'm going to shrink the screen again. And I'm going to go ahead and click link to previous. And you'll notice that that link to previous option was just turned off. So now I can go in here, I can just double click this or highlight it or whatever. And now I can say chapter one. Okay. Now I have another section in the document, and there's a next section here, or show next. Let me show you what that looks like again. Next section. So I'm going to shrink that, and I'm going to click next section, and now you notice it's going to go to section three. So if I leave everything as is, it's still going to say chapter one because it says here same as previous section. So I'm going to go ahead and click link to previous again, and you notice that option came off, and now I'm going to say chapter two. Okay. So now again to get out of that, you can just double click in the body of the document and now I should have headers and footers there, chapter one in this section, and chapter two, what did I do with that? Chapter two down here, okay? So that's how you can break up the different sections. Now the next thing you'll notice is you have a header on your cover page or your, your um, first page. So sometimes you might not want that, it might look kind of out of place. So I can go over here and say different first page and I can just highlight it and delete it. Okay, now I can close out of that. And now there we go. Now we've got no header there. And um, and uh, and also, uh, you know, the chapter's laid out. Then if I want to, I can go down here into the footer section. And I can go here and I just double click there. And I can go to the footer and I can say, um, uh, let's do this. Let's do this one right here. So I can go over here and I can say um, headers and footers. Okay, let me get rid of that. Right, and then I can close out of that and let's take a look at it. Office print preview. And I go down here and I got headers and footers down here and I've got the page number on there. Okay, and you notice here no nothing on the first page. Okay? And so there's lots of different options there. Those are the main things that I wanted to share with you today. I appreciate you uh, joining and please subscribe.
Thanks. Bye.